Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Porn with Sonia. And I did this kind of beautiful, let me show you. I was going for this delicate mother of pearl pearlescent. It's all interference colors with some ballet slipper. I don't know, I resonate, it's gorgeous. Um, so I was going for a shell, because that's on top of a white pillow, Ballet slippers, kind of this pinkish gold, and then all those interference colors. I know you probably can't see them all, but it's gorgeous. But I thought, you know, this could also be pretty gorgeous, dramatic, on top of a black cell activator. I mean, on top of a black pillow. So, here we go. Let's give it a try. Uh, a little bit of pillow, not too much. Um, the trick with this part of it... One of the tricks with this is to not have too much pillow. I gotta have probably a little more than that. All right, I'm gonna use my hands anyways to get it over the edge, so I just made a huge mess. All right, and now you see the real me. I'm messy, 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 messy painter. So let's just not even play around. Let's just spread this out with my hand. <laughs> and I wanna get it thin layer all over my whole canvas. Look, I got some red interference in there. <laughs> but I want to get it over the edges too. And these kind of round canvases, at least these ones from Target, because I didn't spend a lot of money on them, they get these kind of, they buckle a lot. So like a little nice little tool isn't going to get black paint in all of them. So I'm just using my finger because then I can kind of work that black all into all these little crevices where the canvas buckles to get wrapped around. Okay. And again with the, I don't want too much left here in the middle. So I'm just gonna try and drag it out a little bit. Kind of, don't know what I have there. So I think what I'll do is grab my nice neat little tool now and just kinda Spread it out, hopefully evenly a little bit. Good grief, I don't know what I've done here. I'm just trying to put a black layer of paint down. <laughs> All right, the struggle is real for me today, apparently. So, let me wipe my hands off here. Yuck. All right, wipe my tool off here real quick. Because let's face it, a lot of times I'm not a neat painter, so I don't go in and clean right away. So <laughs> if I can remember to at least wipe the most of it off right now, then I'm, I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> let's lay down some interference colors now. Last time I did interference with ballet slipper on top, and this time I think I'm going to do interference with constellation on top. Yay! Constellations are beautiful. These are all this little piggies. But constellation is a beautiful kind of... Blue Violet, <clears throat> she's beautiful. And Velvet is one of my favorites. I love that blue, especially on top of black. So I'm gonna go kind of crazy with that one. Then we'll do a little bit of Ball Gown, because also, yay, all these interference ones are yay. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter, because I'm already getting a lot of paint. <laughs> And I have a lot more to go, so maybe I better start using my little tool. So this is Macaw. So let's not go too crazy, Sonia. Let's actually Okay. That's Macaw. Glisten. Glistens like a blue-green uh, interference. And all of these, they are gonna completely just blend together. So this technique, everything blends together. Comet, kind of a red gold, I believe. And so, they're um, all gonna get blended together, so I'm just gonna kinda lay them out. 
And this is sequins purple. So I feel like I need some of that to go along with the constellation that I'm going to put on top. Okay. There's all my constellation colors, my constellation interference colors. Now, my constellation, I want to blend with all of them. So I don't want too much in the middle. So I'm going to start on the outside because I tend to get a heavier hand when I first start. Okay. There's all my colors. Now I'm going to use my notch tool on the medium setting and just kind of start spinning it out. Blend, blend, blend to the outside and stop. I probably have too much in the middle, but I usually do. But I don't think I want to re-blend it because I've got some pretty green. I got some, I don't want to, if you over blend it, if you just got blues and greens, fine, but I, I don't want the black to take over. So again, I'm just going to wipe my little tool off because that's half the battle for me. Clean up after. I'm going to take my little flat scoop shovel tool here. I don't even know. If I've got enough cell activator mixed up. I think I'm going to mix up some more. Because the thing, the beautiful thing about this is I can pour it all in there. And if I've got extra, I'll just pour it back in here. So I'm going to pause you for a second and mix up a little more. Be right back. Maybe. Okay, I'm back. I mixed up a little more cell activator. I'm going to pour it into my, oops, i got a big hair. Let me get that hair out. Okay, I'm going to pour my cell activator in my scoop, kind of a lot, and whatever I don't use, I can pour right back into my thing. I'm going to start right here in the middle, and I don't want to go too close together. Start it down in. Don't overthink this. Just start pulling it out to the side. There we go. You want to leave a decent amount of space so you have time to uh, room to swirl. And right away, I'm just going to pour my extra cell activator right back in my thing. Oops, I got a little bit of paint in there. That was not. You're supposed to wipe the bottom of your scoop before you start pouring it back in, which I did not do. Silly, silly me. Okay, and now I'm going to wipe my little tool, <clears throat> carry on in the tradition of at least get somewhat cleaned up as I go along because I'm usually not in the mood to clean up after. I have fun creating, I don't have fun cleaning. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Yes. All right. So there it is. I'm going to now take my little clay working tool and I've got this kind of smaller of the two tips here. Now if I'm following this around, it looks like the swirl's going this way, so I'm going to carry on in this way. My goal is to, I'm going to do two passes, one this way, one this way, and I want to go about halfway in and grab the edge of where my cell activator was and get about halfway. So I'm going to go here. Go about halfway in, grab the edge of where all those cells are. Not ruin the beautiful lacing, but grab the edge of it. And make these fun little swoopy swirls. Now I'm going to go back the other way now. And I want to kind of meet up and create these little hearts. So, I'm gonna go this way now. So in some places I have to do bigger swirls, and in some places I have to do smaller swirls, because I'm not trying to ruin my lacing. I 
don't like this middle there. So I definitely didn't get There we go. A little bit better. You can still tell that I flubbed up a little, but it still is a pretty cool looking center. I'll take it. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. So what I had is I had some lacing. I had where my rows were, but I also had just some natural lacing from the paint and I got confused. That's where I was supposed to go. <laughs> so that's what happened there. So this is the Interference Colors with Constellation on top of a black pillow instead of the Interference Colors with Ballet Slipper on top of a white pillow. Completely different look. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I've definitely got some of the greens, golds, um, Interference Blues and purples like so. Can you see? I've got some Interference Blues along the edges. Interference purples, and of course, gold. Um, I don't get a lot of the interference red. Maybe a little as it dries. We'll see, but there's a lot of fun. And then there's fun lacing in there. And of course, the constellation. Oh, look at that blue. I love interference blue. That made some beautiful lacing right there. That interference blue. Yay. So there it is. I think it's pretty. Um, I like it on the black. It's gorgeous. And I also liked it on the white, but this is a little more dramatic. So I hope you had fun watching this and you'll give this technique a try on your own. And until we meet again, have fun painting everyone. Bye now.